In this episode, we'll discuss how both WordPress and ProcessWire handle images. So let's go ahead and insert an image in our Hello page. In WordPress, this is fairly straightforward. Click the Add Media button, then choose the files on your computer that you would like to upload. I'll upload four images. You have the ability to choose multiple images at once. So if I want to insert one of these images, I can simply check one of them, uncheck the others, and click the Insert into Page option. Before that, I can set the alignment, where it links to, and the size. Notice that the sizes that are available to you are based on the four different sizes that WordPress provides and these sizes are in the settings section. So if I insert the image, I got the uh, medium sized image here and we can update our page. And by viewing our page, we can see that the image is in fact there and it links to the large version. WordPress places all the images inside of the media section of the website. So any image that's been uploaded from any different page will also be accessible from the media section. And you have the ability to view the images in many different ways. And this view allows you to quickly make changes to your images one by one. You also have some image editing options. You can crop it and scale it to different sizes and so forth. One extra feature that WordPress provides is the ability to create galleries. So we can insert those into any page or a post or a custom post type. Let's go back to that hello page we created and delete that original image. And to insert a gallery, you simply click the Add Media button. Then click the Create Gallery option here. And we can see the images that we uploaded from before. If we click them, it'll check them all off and we can click the Create a New Gallery button to bring you to another screen that'll allow you to customize it further. Let's type in some captions. We also have the ability to drag and drop them into a different position. Now this does work, however it seems it's a little buggy, but you get the idea. And we have some options here such as where the images will link to. Let's use the attachment page option. We can set the number of columns and some ordering options. We can go ahead and insert that. As you can see, it inserted the gallery here. Now let's see what's going on behind the scenes with this gallery widget here. We can click the text option here to see the raw HTML for this body content. And as you can see, the gallery that you saw there was nothing more than just a shortcode. So you have something called a gallery shortcode that WordPress provides to you out of the box, which is a built-in shortcode. And that is how your galleries are handled behind the scenes. So we can click the update button. Let's see what this looks like on the front end. So we'll refresh our page and there it is. The captions do appear and clicking it takes you to the attachment page of the image. So let's see how ProcessWire handles images. First thing to note is that there's no central media section like WordPress. However, we can still insert images directly on the page. Now the body field has a insert image option here. However, we're going to get a message that there are no images present on this page. And that's because we first need to upload images for it to be made available to insert. So let's scroll down to the images field and we'll go ahead and upload the same four images. We have a nice Ajax upload progress indicator. We can choose different ways to display those images in this images custom field. And now we want to insert one of those images here. So click the Insert Images button again. 
and it's going to find all the images that we've uploaded to this page. You can actually choose images from different pages as well. So let's insert this image here. And after you click it, it will give you the option to choose a different width and height that you want to insert it at. And by using this option, it will give you a specifically cropped version of the image. So let's say we want a 700 pixel wide version of the image then it will adjust it as so and we can make it link to the larger version and now we can click the insert this image button give it a moment to process the new image size and there it is so let's go ahead and save the page and if we view it we can see that image here and this is in fact a 700 pixel wide image that I set we can verify that by inspecting the image. And as you can see, it created a file that is based on the 700 pixel wide size. Process Wired using a default installation does not have an equivalent gallery creation feature. However, that can be programmed using the Hanacode module that you saw earlier using some straightforward PHP code.